Let's find the oxidation numbers for the sulfur here in S4O6, 2 minus. This is the tetrathionate ion. We're going to do it two ways. First, we're going to find the average oxidation number for the sulfurs in this ion here. Then we're going to look at each individual sulfur and figure out the oxidation numbers on each one of these. So let's start out with the average oxidation number for the sulfur in S4O6, 2 minus. We have an ion here. We can tell we have this charge up here. In an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So if we look at all of the oxidation numbers here, we add them up, we should get minus 2. We don't know what sulfur is. Let's call that X. Oxygen almost always is minus 2, with a few exceptions when it's bonded to peroxides or the more electronegative fluorine atom. But here it's bonded to sulfur, so the oxygen, each one of these, is going to be negative 2. So let's set an equation up, figure out the average oxidation number for the sulfur. We're going to call sulfur X, and we have four of them, so 4X, we have minus 2 for the oxygen, but we have six of those, and the whole thing is going to equal the charge on the ion, so we have minus 2. 4X minus 12 equals minus 2, add 12 to both sides, 4X equals 10, and then we could just divide both sides by 4 to get X by itself. We'd end up with 10 over 4, we could call this 5 over 2, or if we wanted, we could just divide 5 by 2 and we would get 2.5. So 2.5, that would be the average oxidation number for the sulfur, each sulfur here in s 4062 minus. The problem is that these sulfurs are different. This sulfur here is bonded to sulfur on either side. Same here, bonded to sulfur on either side. So for this sulfur right here, we don't know what its oxidation state is. We'll call that X again. We do know it's bonded to one, two, three oxygens. So minus two for oxygen times three, and that equals the charge on the ion. So we're looking at this part right here, and we have a formal charge of one minus. So we're gonna say all of this equals minus one. X minus six equals minus one. Add five to both sides. X equals a positive five. So this sulfur right here is going to be plus 5. That's its oxidation state. Over here, this is the same thing. It's symmetrical, so this one will be plus 5 as well. And since we have 1, 2, 3, 4 sulfurs, and we have a total of 5 plus 5, 10, we end up with that 10 over 4 for the average for the sulfur here in s 4062 minus. So a little bit more complicated once we start looking at each individual sulfur in s 4062 minus. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.